Sanders partner from the Isle of Malta, weighing 275 pounds, here is Baron Miguel Cicluna. And in the corner to my right, the tag team champions of the world from, from Quebec City, weighing 234 pounds, it is Rick Martel. And his partner from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing 244 pounds, Tony Garia. Tony Reed, Rick Martell in a non-title tag team match. Here we go. Taking this commercial time out, two outstanding cards of professional wrestling in the metropolitan area are going to take place on Thursday night, January 22nd. The first one will be in Queens at the Queens College Gym in Flushing, New York, with the likes on the card of Quick Draw Rick McGraw, in addition to Rex and King, the Moondogs. Then that same night, it's in Freehold, New Jersey, where you'll see the popular SD Special Delivery Jones, as well as the rugged Raw Bone Hangman in Freehold, New Jersey, on the 22nd of January. This is not the first time that Cicluna and Estrada have teamed up. They've had some success together in the past, have they not, Pat? They have been, but I'm sure that before they go in the rain, they get together and they talk to the together. And so far, uh, their talk must have done them a lot of good because they have the advantage of the champion. Mike Cicluna never seems to amaze me. Uh, he's uh, such a big man, rugged man. Uh, never looked, never changed, always looked the same. Uh, Keeps himself in very good condition. Rugged uh, individual is going to nice execution in terms of escape, but unfortunately Rick Martell through the years, uh, if he continues without escape, he'll pay for it because there's nothing will give you cauliflower years any quicker than that. Martell whipped into uh, backing front of Cicluna at that point. Estrada now, waiting for his opportunity, leaps off the rope. Oh, God. Martell beginning to fire out of there now. Back leg, Tony Garia through the ropes. Estrada whipped into the rope. Get him. Well, they won't either. Not with Cicluna around. Green and Martell, I think, perhaps the smartest tag team uh, champions we've had in some time in terms of strategy and things of that nature concerned. Certainly bring a lot of respectability back to the tag team title. Lou Albano not too happy about it, but that's his problem. Well, you know, Vince, they've done a lot of teaming in New Zealand a few years back, and they were hoping that one day they get together again and have a chance at the World Side Team Championship. And then their dream has come true, and they surely deserve it. But now they're going to have to fight very hard to keep it. It's a hard battle up the road. To get, once you're up there, you're a champion. You've got to fight harder to keep it. Yes, and you, of course, become a target for all tag team combinations because everybody wants to be a tag team title holder. This is the fourth occasion in which Tony Gray has been so honored. The first occasion for his tag team partner, Rick Martell, which incidentally, Gurria claims is the greatest tag team partner he's ever had. Well, I would say so, Vince. I mean, Rick Martell is very impressive. Let's say what a two and now, Gurria between a rock and a hard place there. Perhaps he could have had the third count on Cicluna, but he saw Estrada coming. A 
Let's try it now. Through the rope. Maria still dazed. Estrada and Jacluna complement each other quite well. You know, there's all I could say. No matter where, no matter where Guerrilla and Martel wrestles, you'll be sure to have plenty of action. I mean, they are really interesting to watch. There's always, they're both quick and fast, and there's always plenty of action. The referee over now. Finally, the tag rope is released from Tony Guerrilla's throat. Guerrilla making a smart move, backing away from that corner. He knows he has to get out of that corner. Guerrilla, nice reversal at the very last moment. Tag made it, comes Martel. Martel, a house of fire. To the buckle, off a scoop, has him up in the air, slams him to the canvas, drops the elbow. Covers him, two. Sakuna interrupted. Ah. Shot there to the eyes. Tag was made, though. I don't think uh, Estrada knows it. Over two men. Back over. Scoop. Slam by Martel. Tony Guerrilla, two. It's three. This is what I mean, Vince, by beautiful teamwork now. Martel made the legal tag, but Estrada didn't have no idea the tag was made, and because of that, it was a quick fall and very well done. That really was done well. The arduous scheduling of tag team title defenses, Guerrilla and Martel have been all over the country. You made a point at the outset of the broadcast, Pat, that uh, you may be a little on the tired side from traveling so much and from training and from the tough matches, but Boy, I think they showed their true colors this week. They really have it all together. They sure do, Vince. Uh, they, I thought maybe they would be a little slower, but we found out that uh, when Mar Martel and Geary are in the ring, and the, there's speed, there's excitement. It is a time, five minutes and 52 seconds, and the winners, the tag team champions of the world, Rick Martel and Tony Garia. Martel and Garia, two sensational athletes. Let's take a look now, Pat, if we can, at slow motion action. They really had it all together here. Now watch this, the tag made, Estrada does not know it. Pick it up, Pat. There, Martel goes down, Garia goes down, jumps over, it goes for the cooch, scoop slam. And there, Estrada has no idea who's legally in the ring at that time, and the referee makes the count. What yeah. tricked the whole thing that nobody, Estrada didn't know the tag was made. That's right, they really have it together. Martel and Garia. We'll be back as we continue with more wrestling in a moment. Time limit, introducing in the corner to my left from New York City, weighing 239 pounds, it is the unpredictable Johnny Rob. And in the corner to my right, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 240 pounds, here is SD, Special Delivery Jones. Look out, here comes Johnny Rod. The following is commercial in nature. The Westchester County Center of White Plains, New York, will be the setting once again for an outstanding array of professional wrestling talent on Friday night, the 23rd of January, and you're going to see a super lineup with the likes of Dominic DiNucci on the card, as well as Tony Gorea and Rick Martel, the tag team champions, and the rugged 305-pounder, Sergeant Slaughter, who is bragging and boasting to the fullest still, and he'll try and prove it in White Plains, New York, on the 23rd of January. display of power in his own right. Nice arm drag takedown by SD. SD with that double shovel. 
this should be a very interesting match. Uh, event. You know, a lot of wrestlers haven't seen S.D. Joan in uh, quite a while, and uh, now they see him, and they don't know how to uh, really take him because he has changed his style, and he's uh, lost some weight, and he's in much better shape. Even though Johnny Rods knows about S.D. Joan, he's quite surprised to see him move. I think it goes far, Mr. Rods, is a little uh, surprised at Jones. Jones back to his feet now. Slipping over. Jones with a full Nelson now. Why are Rods will escape this? Perhaps the best escape uh, to set out, Pat, would you say? It would be uh, good, but it's depending on your opponent. If he has it on very tight, then there's no way. I mean, if he's, if he's got the full that's going to fly very well. I don't think he can get out of it too much. And to do it well, you have to put the pressure behind the neck and push the head down and really hold the pressure. Rod just knocked S.D. Jones through the ropes. Luckily for Jones, he landed on the hard on the stomach. Oh, look at that. Rod's missing with a stab. Jones missing with it as well. Rod ripped through the buckle, and he was really ripped through the buckle. 